are about to try and get some carp. Um, it is June 16th, I believe. Um, we're heading out to uh, Green Lake to see if we can catch some um, common carp and possibly a mirror if we get lucky. Um, it's about 65, 70 degrees and it's been raining all day, but hopefully we'll hook into them because uh, we should know what we're doing. So. Uh, wish us luck and uh, we'll see what we can get. Adam, you want to go grab me the holder real quick? Is it? Is it? Don't try anything stupid here. Yeah. No, we didn't hook it in the Just give it to me then. Well, at least they're in here. I don't know why they're not fighting. Can someone go watch their rods, please? And hold up for the camera, at least, and I'll go still. Dude, this is crazy. I think this is going to be good stuff. I'm going to back out because I can't see you getting the corn and doing that. This wide angle lens makes it look professional. Show 
Mike, can you reel those rods in? The corn's knocked over. That's all right. That's all right, Adam. Don't put that now. Mike, we got a school of cart moving in. I told you to throw it out there. Might have been the one that stole my corn. All right, just set that. Just set that down. Dude, that's like a little baby that we found at Green Lake. Flip. Put some on top of it so it doesn't be a douche with that rod. And what are you looking at? Are you looking at a cart right here? Oh, yeah. Right in there. That's what? Yes, it is. We need that for the camera, too. The mirror's on the list. All right, Mike. Can I sneak under you real quick? We gotta get that. Let's show the hook. Oh, it's straight. Let's see that hook. I can't see it. It's glaring. It's wicked. Let me see that. That's what you call a straight end hook, folks. And we're gonna get that in. Oh, boy. Is this your first day out fishing? Oh yeah, that's a good shot. Right in the mouth. All right. Pull out, slowly pull out. That's a nice mirror crab. Let's get close up. Nice shot, Kirby. No. Yeah, they're both pretty close. Yeah, right here. No, they're both close. They're both right with you. Yeah, you did. It worked out very nicely considering we didn't want you dipping. Because you're 12. Well, the if you can tell by the bite, there's a giant take. I'll get them. Are you gonna get them? Don't step on any rods. I'll try not to. Oh, great. There you go. Get one, Tim. You go, no, dude, we ain't gonna get one. You're never right. That's what we needed. Now we can go home.
Hey folks, um, we're back and um, gonna give you guys a rundown on the rig we used for carp, and we use this during the carp videos on all of our rods. So here we have 10 pound test fire line braided line, and um, I highly recommend this line. It's very durable, it casts very easy, and um, it's never let me down. So I highly recommend this. This is 10 pound test fire line braid, and um. On here we have what I believe is an eighth ounce slip sinker. Um, the weight is going to vary with the body of water you're fishing, obviously. This is just what we've used in particular for a small lake for um, carp. And uh, over here we have a standard uh, snap swivel. Um, you can find these at pretty much any store as well as a sinker and um, any fishing store. And uh, on this we have up top here, that's a Palomar knot. And um, we have this swivel attached to a, a snell tide, and uh, that's just a double overhand knot. This is how you get this loop here. And you can check these out in our knot videos if you want to, or um, if you already know these, and that's great. So um, that's what we have here. But uh, down here is a special little setup we have. This is a double snell. We have two hooks on here. 
And um, what we generally do is on this hook, is the bottom one, we put the corn. And um, what you do is you stack this up with about six or seven pieces, and um, this top hook just dangles bare. We found that this drastically increased our hookup percentages and um, reduced our missed hits greatly. So um, I recommend this rig. It's definitely helped us a lot. We've been doing this for a while, so um, this is definitely the most effective uh, hook setup we have. These are, I think, size six or eight um, hooks. I mean, you can find something similar to this, similar size. Whatever works for you, because all different bodies of water are going to have different fish and uh, different conditions. So, um, but this is what we used for that the small lake where we were fishing at, and um, most importantly, the bait. So what we have here is whole corn, canned corn. Um, any brand, pretty much anything, doesn't matter if it's white, doesn't really matter if it's yellow, we catch them on both, and, um, just make sure it's whole kernel, cream corn, like, I don't really even know how you would use it, it's just, like, all mushy, so, yeah, don't make the mistake, make sure it says whole kernel, and, um, so, yeah, that's that, and, uh, I would probably buy her about one of these for every time you go out, you're gonna be chumming a lot, so, um, canned corn on this rig and we should have you guys hooked into some carp any questions feel free to pm comment rate subscribe obviously and um we hope you like the video we hope you enjoy the rig and most importantly we hope you learn something so um take care guys and we'll catch you next video I'm gonna take responsibility for that. Did it hurt? <laughs>